Hi, Mike from Single Handed Solutions. Today I want to talk to you about a cool little product that a gentleman here in Oregon asked me to review. Um, after when I started doing these YouTube videos, um, I was approached by a gentleman from Survival Sheath Systems. I uh, try saying that five times fast. Um, he's, he's here in Oregon and he makes a lot of Kydex for knives, guns, and magazine pouches and stuff like that. And uh, he was really impressed with some of my videos and asked if I wanted to test out some product. And this is the first time anybody's ever asked me to do it. And I didn't want to do just a normal, okay, send it to me, I'll play around with it for a day or so, and then tell you what I thought of it. I actually wanted to play around with this stuff for a couple months. And a lot of you know I took the Rifle Dynamics AK Armor Operator class a couple months ago. And for about a month before that, I was actually playing with this for my reloads um, out of my dominant side. I don't like using a uh, chest carrier with like five or six mags and stuff like that, a chest rig or a plate carrier. Um, for most of the time, it's just you know one reload and I'm gonna reassess how I do things anyway. Um, so primarily when I'm training with a rifle, I just use a one spare mag pouch or two on my standard belt. I don't wear a battle belt or anything like that. Uh, my body shape doesn't allow for it and this stays really close to my body. Um, but while I took it to the rifle dynamics class, um, it worked flawlessly. I didn't once uh, drop a magazine. It held it nice and secure. And when I did need to access it, it came out when I needed it. And after I used it and getting in some weird, awkward shooting positions that they had us do, there was a couple times where I actually like, you know, laid down on my side and put all 215 pounds of my body weight on the magazine uh, pouch. And it did not crack or break or anything like that. It stayed, uh, it stayed attached and together the entire time. Um, I'll take a couple minutes here and show you guys some closer things here in a second. Uh, one of the things I did like is the fact there are no sharp edges on this. It doesn't dig into you at all and it does stay close to your body. So let's uh, take a little bit closer look and show you guys some features of these uh, cool magazine pouches. Stay tuned. So a couple cool features that I really like uh, about it is how, how sturdy and, and, and durable uh, the Kydex is that he used uh, um, to make these. Uh, it's very form-fitting, fits close to your body, as you can see, and it has the one and a half inch uh, belt loops. Uh, one thing I also really like is the fact that they are not solid belt loops, but as you can see, they have the, the little clip on the end, so you can actually slide it down onto your belt. And if you need to, you can pry that out and slide it off instead of having to undo your belt out of your belt loops and you know work the things out, which is kind of a pain. So uh, I really like that about both of them, and as you can see, uh, the PMAG one for a 5.56 uh, is the same way. It's got those little clips on them. Uh, very sturdy. Not not once did they come out. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty durable. It's still going to scratch up any type of Kydex you get after rolling around on the gravel, um, doing some like modified prone stuff. Um, did get a little scratched up, but never once did I lose the magazine. And even after the magazine, putting all my weight of like 215, 220 pounds. Uh, on that, on my hip, uh, on the ground. It, it didn't crack or, or anything like that, it just kind of scratched up a little bit. Uh, obviously, uh, it held up really well. Um, another cool thing is you can actually adjust the tension on these. It's a little easier to see on the 5.56 one. He's got these uh, thick rubber bushings uh, in between the screws, the pieces of the Kydex. You can actually tighten it and loosen it a little bit, and that'll help with uh, lock up and release. And they do lock up, and I will show you guys that here in a second. On the AK uh, version one, uh, it's just a single one right down and through here. Uh, obviously, the AK one is a little bit wider uh, than the standard PMAG one. Uh, it's just because of the curvature of the magazine, you kind of need to allow for that. So I'm going to show you guys how easy it is this is to uh, put on and take off one-handed. Stay tuned. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys um, how I put uh, one of these things on. Um, the fact that it does have clips makes it a little easier so you don't have to like undo your belt and then slide it on and then work through all your belt loops and then tie your belt back on. You can just grab the thing. I always start with the back one, clip it on there, bend the first one out. And it helps if I get it on the belt. There you go. So and at this point, you can kind of slide it back and forth however you want, and it's on there. And you take a fully loaded magazine, because there's no point in having an empty one. I just kind of rock it into place. And if I need to, you know, tighten the belt up, 
but it's there in place and as you can see it kind of stays close to my body it doesn't like flop out and stuff like that which I can't stand on a lot of things this is also another reason why I don't run a big huge padded belt with mag pouches on it because uh, I'm a little wider in the hips to begin with and then having something that just kind of flares out you know, it doesn't really work so it's just close to your body but it doesn't you know impede in any movement or anything like that and it is really easy to get out you know nice and stiff so you don't have to worry about losing it and then just kind of rock it back into place so I actually really like that about it so really easy in order to take it off I just bend the first part of the clip back pull that side out and then the other side that's how easy it is to get on and off 556 five, one it's a little bit smaller and the way it's curved uh, could make it a little bit more difficult but same thing applies click on the back one first and then fumbled around for it a little bit. I haven't played with this one as much as I have the AK one. Uh, 556 mag, you know, sits in like that. Nice and tight, you know, almost, you could almost conceal it if you wanted to. T-shirt, you know, it's gonna print a little bit. Obviously somebody with a more athletic physique than mine could probably hide it a little bit better, but uh, not too bad. Not that this was designed to, to do that, but as you guys can see, and as for coming out, if you don't catch your shirt in it, but even if you do, it doesn't impede with it. Um, I do kind of rock them forward, rock them back a little bit in order to get them out, but come out pretty easy. I'm taking it off. Take the front one out first, and then take it off. So, as you guys could hear, they do click in. Uh, so you can tell when they when they do go in. So I'll slam on the table a little bit, but it is they are pretty secure. You can hear that click. Obviously, it's back in through here. Same thing with the AK forty seven. That nice click. So. So that's basically my opinion on, uh, for whatever it's worth, on these on these cool little uh, magazine pouches that fit on your belt. Um, if you do, I will put a link down below for Survival Sheath Systems. I, I do highly recommend uh, that you contact them if you're looking for something like this. Uh, like I said, he also does a lot of stuff for knives and different magazines, pistol, rifle, uh, handguns, revolvers. So uh, check out their website, a lot of cool stuff on it. Uh, the guy makes everything in-house, so it's really cool to support small businesses. Uh, it's what I like to do anyway. So, hope you guys like what you saw here today. If you do, please like and subscribe to the page, Single Handed Solutions, on YouTube and Facebook. Hope you guys have a good day, and remember, three out of four ain't bad.